Tom Bauer is one of the UK's most well-respected investigative journalists, known for exposing scandals and bringing down powerful public figures through meticulous research. His latest target? None other than the Duchess of Sussex herself, Meghan Markle. In Bauer's explosive new book, Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the War Between the Windsors, he lays out a devastating case, accusing Meghan of orchestrating a long con scheme to infiltrate and undermine the monarchy from within using manipulation and lies. According to Bauer, she coldly targeted Prince Harry as her prey, ensnaring him in a whirlwind romance to boost her own fame and fortune, caring little for the traditions she supposedly championed. Bauer claims Meghan saw marrying into the royal family as a career move, not a love match carefully crafting her image as a feminist icon and civil rights advocate to disguise darker ambitions. He alleges she was infuriated at not immediately being given a higher platform and title within the firm, feeling she deserved celebrity treatment from day one that simply wasn't possible within strict protocol. When her demands went unmet after the lavish wedding, Bauer says Meghan retaliated by isolating Harry from his friends and family, gradually turning him against the institution he was raised to serve and filling his head with paranoid conspiracies about racism within the palace. Even Markle's own estranged family and ex-friends paint a picture of someone obsessed with fame above all else. Now with the king on the throne, Bauer warns that Meghan is twisting the narrative further to paint herself as a brave whistleblower, victimized by an oppressive monarchy holding her back due to race. He claims covert planning is already underway for a sensational televised interview or memoir aimed at destroying public faith in the new reign that could derail King Charles's hopes for a smooth transition. Bauer maintains documentary evidence, proving Meghan carefully plotted her PR strategies, choosing charity patronages and photo opportunities around the world designed solely for maximum publicity rather than compassion with experts alleging millions were made from lucrative brand deals by trading on her royal role. Bauer says Markle has proven herself the ultimate influencer, leveraging popularity for unimaginable riches. In the most serious allegation, Bauer sources even suggest Meghan attempted to pressure senior royals into giving her and Harry roles as unofficial co-monarchs, visiting Commonwealth nations in the Queen's place on a global influence tour. When told outright this was unconstitutional meddling in state affairs, Bauer claims tensions exploded, backing theories their hasty exit was motivated more by a power struggle within the family than simple desires for privacy. If Bauer's shocking research proves accurate, it paints Meghan not as a progressive figurehead for diversity, but a calculating opportunist hellbent on self-promotion who ruthlessly exploited a besotted Harry's devotion and the monarchy's goodwill for explosive personal gain before betraying them both. Of course, we have only heard one side so far. But with more former palace staff breaking strict NDAs to validate similar stories, is all as it seems? More questions are raised about those suspiciously timed royal photo shoots and televised interviews. Were they prepping their image for what's to come? Only Meghan can refute these claims. But if she chooses confrontation over cooperation with relevant authorities, it would confirm many long-time suspicions that her intentions were never sincere. The future of the monarchy itself could hang in the balance depending how far this toxic saga escalates. Under increased scrutiny, King Charles now faces a momentous test of leadership. Will he follow the Queen's dignified example, rise above the scandal confident in people's loyalty, or unleash counterattacks that further undermine trust in the institution at this sensitive transition? Either way, Bauer warns Meghan and Harry won't go down without pulling out all stops, threatening exposes that could seriously upend stability during a period the nation needs unity. The monarch's path ahead is perilous with so many eyes watching for missteps and hungry to exploit any perceived weakness. But the well-being of over 50 million citizens globally relies on the crown, sustaining credibility amid these modern challenges while upholding Elizabethan values that strengthened it for seven decades. With republicanism on the rise internationally, King Charles can ill afford even the slightest vulnerability to critics probing for royal fractures to widen. In times like these that test national cohesion and shared purpose, clear communication reinforcing faith in long-held traditions seems paramount.
The monarchy must move forward together as one, distancing itself from the turmoil of past disputes, extending compassion even to perceived opponents and allowing the future, not past grudges, to find its guiding purpose. But that relies on all parties ceasing hostilities and embracing reconciliation for the higher good of community over ego. Only time will tell how leaders on each side handle this pressure cooker situation. But in an era screaming for moral authority and stability, the hopes of generations rest upon wisdom prevailing over score settling and unity over discord. For now, all eyes remain fixed on Buckingham Palace, waiting to see how the new monarch will navigate these dire straits and lead Britain with dignity through challenging days ahead. We'll keep following every twist and turn. For now, thanks as always for watching.